persons in your marriage, will you? Ryan and Rebecca have written vows that they are going to pledge to one another. And Ryan, it's your privilege to go first. Rebecca, when we first met at Cal Poly, I knew that there was something special about you, a kind of strange magic. Before I met you, I had very little motivation to do well in school and care about life in general. You have given me such a great sense of purpose by stoking a fire that at one time only you believed in. Now I have no trouble seeing the world in a more positive and optimistic light. When we're apart, I miss the way you laugh at all the silly things that I do and say. Things that leave everyone else in the dark. Even when I set the self-checkout machine at the grocery store to speak only in Spanish, you still, albeit eventually, laugh with me. Our shared love and faithfulness to God is the foundation of our relationship, and our love for Star Wars is a close second. <laughs> I look forward to growing old with you and being able to see all the laugh lines that I put on your face. I may be even able to point out a couple and say, oh yes, I remember that one. To me, marriage is dedicating yourself wholeheartedly to your deepest and closest friend, and I'm happy to create that bond today. I promise to defend your life with my own, to love you Let us pray. Bless these rings, O oh Lord. Use these symbols of unending love and faithfulness to continually remind Ryan and Rebecca of the vows they have made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ryan, repeat after me. Rebecca, this ring I give you. Rebecca, this ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Rebecca, repeat after me. Ryan, this ring I give you. Ryan, this ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. As a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And now to symbolize your new oneness, I invite you to pour sands together. Together you are pledging yourselves to one another. Your strengths, your weaknesses, your pasts, your futures, your fears, your dreams. From now on, all these things will be mingled together. The small containers of sand 
represent all you bring as individuals to your marriage. And as you pour them into the larger containers, the grains of sand will merge together, and you won't be able to ever separate them. So will your marriage be. The sand colors represent something as well. All that God has done in your individual lives up until this point, and all that God will do in your lives together from this day forward. The colors symbolize faith, hope, and love, because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. So I invite you to take these symbols of faith, hope, and love that God has given you as individuals and pour them together as a wedding couple. Rebecca and Ryan, what you have done today is something that we all rejoice and celebrate with you. You have pledged your love to one another. Your love has brought together people from many different parts of your life. People who have known you from your infancy to people you've only met recently. They are all people who are celebrating today. People who were once strangers are now united in celebrating the joy of love. It's an awesome thing that you both just done together. You two have vowed to one another and before God and all of us that you will live for each other and no longer live for yourselves as individuals. You will be true to one another, faithful, patient, kind. You two are saying that it's no longer just about me and just about now, but it's about us about forever. Today, you are choosing to live for one another. You come to each other having laid a great foundation for your marriage and built something beautiful together. You know what you're pledging yourself to, to do life together during the good times and the not so good times and the absolutely unforeseen horrible times. You'll face them all together. But Today is only the beginning. Romantic movies sometimes end with a wedding with a swell of violins and the couple sailing off into the sunset together. And people sometimes wipe a tear from their eyes and say, oh, now they'll live happily ever after. And as we watch weddings, sometimes we are tempted to think, oh, now they'll live happily ever after. But that's a myth. Instead, we should think, now the work begins, because marriage is work. You are now embarking on the most challenging work of your life. Living in marriage is joyful, loving, and creative work. And I encourage you to continue that work as long as you both shall live. Work to communicate with each other. Work to serve one another, even when it's inconvenient. Work to forgive one another as Christ has forgiven you. Work to keep the flame of love alive. Work to be faithful to the vows you have just made to each other and to God. My encouragement to you is that God is on your side. God cares deeply that your marriage succeed, that your love flourish, because as the Bible teaches, God's very essence is love, and your love is a reflection of that holy love. God desires for your love and marriage to be a blessing to you, to be a safe haven from the storms of life, to be a refuge, the place where you are most truly known, where you are most truly yourself, where you are most deeply loved. And God desires also that your marriage be a source of blessing for others, your family, your friends, the world as a whole a place of safe refuge, a haven, a place where your love encompasses and sustains others, a 
a demonstration of God's love for the world. So in your marriage, may God bless you deeply. And through your marriage, may God bless others for his purposes. And now, by the authority given to me by the minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, and by the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ryan,